normally when you, you fly into a resort, it's, it's just mountains and snowy hills, but it's beach. And you're like, am I going on a summer holiday or am I going snowboarding? It's like immediately sunny and hot, which isn't what you expect. You kind of roll up in all your snowboard gear. It's very special just because you actually realize from the plane that the ocean and the mountain, they're, they're not far away. So it makes it, yeah, it just makes it that more special. Kind of turning up to Sierra Nevada, you immediately realise it's not like every other ski resort that you go to. As soon as you go up the hill, there's kind of like, it's, it's a huge, a huge bowl and there's, there's so much terrain going on. And it's really high, it's one of the highest peaks around here, so you, you go up and you can see right over Granada pretty much all the time that you're skiing. If you, you know, if you, if you stop and look up, you're always amazed by, you know, the view. Especially if you go up over the top, on a good day you can see across, like, to Morocco. We did see Morocco, and Morocco, if you look at it on a card, I mean, it is, it's an ocean that separates Europe and uh, Africa. So it was pretty impressive to actually see the mountains of Morocco. The view is just incredible. The good thing about Sierra Nevada is that you have everything here. I think if you're a beginner skier, you're just fine because there's so many beginner slopes. But if you're a little advanced or an advanced skier or expert even, like you, you get satisfied because there's also steeper slopes, you know, where you can like go full speed and it's fun. So I think, um, yeah, there's pretty much something for everybody here. So the, the park here is good, they've got a great shaper that's, um, that's quite experienced and um, they built a jump for us, for us today that was good fun, you know, some of the locals came up and we, we had a good shred, it was, it, was, it was really good fun riding today, kind of like in a low stress environment. Alright, it's Straubman and I'm going to take a picture, let's see. Oh, smooth. The resort itself is actually pretty big, like you would never expect it to be that big. Any skier can be happy here, or a snowboarder, I should add. <laughs> All right, what is he gonna do? Yeah, there's a real cool rail line up here in the park. Um, good assortment of rails, you know, from, from the, the small beginner stuff to the medium and, and some quite tacky rails, um, which is always good because, you know, it challenges everybody. We had to get a little bit creative. I'm not a big rail skier, so um, we just came up with the idea that he could hit the rainbow and I could just be, whoa, <laughs> and go under the rainbow. So I think it worked out, it was fun. Yeah, you know, normally it's not warm enough that you can come down the hill and, and sunbathe with a beer at the bottom. But here it's, it's, it's warm all the time. You don't get it anywhere else, it's lovely. I love sitting in the sun, especially after a hard day's ride and you kind of kick your boots off and chill out in the sun. That's the best. <laughs> Yeah, it was really nice to in and out of going skiing, be able to kind of pop into a spa and hang out and kind of relax your muscles after a long day skiing. Like definitely bigger than your normal spa, so that's definitely a good place to just relax after a hard skiing day. Europe is definitely known for all the cultural stuff and just seeing all that, you know, the Alhambra as an example, or churches or anything, you name it. It's just, it's just really interesting and there's not many places in the world that you actually get to see that and ski at the same time. We turned up to the viewpoint across Alhambra, just like an awesome kind of scene that was set as you looked across. Yeah, I don't, I don't get to kind of see that stuff very often, so that was amazing. So within an hour drive, we actually ended up at Costa Tropical and uh, <laughs> we actually went in the water, which was awesome. I mean, we were just skiing and suddenly we're in the water. So Billy was wakeboarding, I was just paddleboarding and uh, kayaking, you know, but it was awesome. There's so much to see and to learn about. Everything's really different. There's like, you know, lot, lots going on. Later on, we went to a flamenco dinner, which is super cultural and intense. I've never seen anything like it before. The guitar room was amazing and kind of sat down in this 200 year old cave. And normally it would weird me out a little bit, but it was amazing. Definitely an experience. 
Yeah, night skiing is good. You don't normally get to shred at night, so you can kind of pop up after dinner or whatever you want, really, and get some extra shred time in. Yeah, that night skiing slope was actually so much fun. There weren't that many people on it, and pretty much you could actually spend the day down at the beach and then go skiing at night, which is another pretty cool option. I would definitely say this has not been my last time to Sierra Nevada. It's definitely just a great place because you get everything so close, which you don't really have in other resorts. Proximity to the beach, the proximity to Granada, which is definitely worth visiting. I'm on top of the world. Yeah, so we went up to, um, to have a sunset shoot on, on the, the kicker up there, but it was a bit cloudy and we were like, oh no, is it going to happen? Um, and just, just as the... Um, just as the sun was going to set, the cloud all cleared and it was perfect. There was like a beautiful view across the, the inverted clouds. And we had a great jump session with some of the local riders and the best light I've ever had. It was breathtaking. Sierra Nevada are holding the World Championships next year, um, which is another great opportunity to come back and experience all of this again. Hopefully I'll have some time in between competing to kind of hang out and, and I can show all my friends around Sierra Nevada and Granada. There's so much going on, there's so many things for different types of people that you could bring anyone here. You know, you could come with your family or friends and you know, you'd be, you'd be pretty unlucky not to find something that everybody loves. There's, there's so much going on.